Batman. Let's get this over with. You know, if you arrest me, I go to Arkham. It's just so tiresome. Uh, I, but what is it? Not actually ready to play the part of the hero like you usually. I, it's just you never what just gave up just lay myself bare ready to face the consequences of my actions I'm tired well what I do I just keep failing over and over again He's just Victor. I understand. No, <laughs> did you really understand? I'm sorry. No, I'm asking you a question. Do you understand? What it's like to try so hard just to fail. To have someone you love in such a helpless state. I can't do anything. I can't fix this. I could really do is do some bad, trying to be good. You know, doing the, the wrong thing for the right reasons, just trying to save someone. He's probably already too far gone. So I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Right, do you want me to pull the plug myself? I doubt even if I could save her, she would. What I used to be. I'm not the one that she married. Not even. I doubt if I did say where she would look at me the same. So. Let's just get this over with. It's just so tiresome. I've lost people before. Yes, you certainly have. Hmm. Shall we? Very well. Your drill. Hands up. Hey. Not that. Wait. What is this? What, what are you doing? Joker, you're supposed to be in Arkham. Oh, that's it. You know that doesn't work. You know there's only one way to stop me. You're too much of a bitch to actually do it. 
Yeah, it's too scared. You won't be able to stop yourself. Mm. Yeah, I just got to my advantage. You make more carnage. So, what is it that I am seeing here? Victor, why are you giving up so easily? What a poor Nora. Gun. I can't say her. Don't be a quitter. And you. See, why are you. Why do you seem more gloomy than usual? Oh, do you bring up some. Uh, memories of poor Jason? I said I struck a nerve, didn't I? Well. Uh, I've been watching you pose for quite some time, actually. Actually, Victor, I've been watching you since you first escaped Arkham. Again. And I must say, I'm quite disappointed in the both of you. You're not even going to a fight anymore, are you, Victor? You don't want to fight anymore. Oh. What? You, you decided just to give up on your wife? Thinking she won't love you anymore. You move on and you'll be more bitter. Where is it? Where's, where's my tissues? Where's the, my violin that I can play you a sad song? What are you doing here? Well, I was here just to watch your little back and forth. You were trying to spy your actions. Betsy always trying to tell you that no, that's not how this works. And I... Like I said, I'm disappointed. You didn't throw one punch. You didn't even try to freeze him. Oh, yes, I am quite disappointed. If anything, <laughs> I'm just shocked. I mean, you're already a villain. You might have a full, full tilt. What more can I do? With desperation is what you need. As your, yeah, your dying spouse isn't enough to motivate you. What? Mm -hmm. Why don't you be a mortar or something? What? Think of it! We live in one of the most dangerous places on Earth! That's a very false. Yes, yes, there's always Arkham. A prison? Hmm? What various toxic, despicable things I've done? I guess into an insane asylum instead of prison. Don't you remember when I made that fortune? Thanks to... Hello? That little shit! <clears throat> I'm sorry. Now I have to pay taxes. Yeah, but you learn that the money wasn't. I didn't want to be made a fool of. But I also didn't want to go to dinner or not spend. You see, signed up with all the sins I've accumulated. In my interesting life, I've done. 
all I've heard. I know one thing for certain. I'd rather be in an asylum where they try to fix me than, you know, prison. Don't get me wrong. It would be interesting to see so many colorful individuals, but it's the fact that at the end of the day, I'm only a man. You know the sheer brutality that would be, a, be just thrown upon me. What do you mean? There are a few things you need to know when it comes to, so, uh, you know, people incarcerated. You don't mess with kids, women, the elderly, and the disabled. I've done all of that without remorse. Great. If I'm considered crazy, I guess into an asylum weather, yes. Though, I think everyone may like me. It's in their best interest to make sure that they and my ticker keep a ticking. Do you have any idea what people do to me in a These prisons outside of Gotham think their prisoners like <laughs> lower than human garbage. And Gotham, could you imagine? I would have access to as much as I do in Arkham. Just imagine the fact that I get hurt by somebody and I hurt them back. They'll send me to the whole solitary confinement, which is not as fun where you have as many voices in my head. <laughs> if you know I was crazy before. <laughs> Even when it comes to the whole food and laundry situation, who do you think brings that to us? In a prison? The other inmates? And I know that I have wronged at least one mentally unstable person with horrifying anger issues in that facility. When it comes to villains, which most of them are, you know, like them. Yes, they may not like me, but I've never truly hands-on affected them. Well, what I did to the normies. Forget it. No matter what sentence they give me, my face is everywhere. I get into a prison. I am screwed. Despite my tricks, despite my gag schemes, I know. As soon as they start risking, as soon as I hear that rubble buffs, I can say goodbye to this beautiful little existence of mine. Which is another way to say I would be royally fucked. Mm. Literally, but still.
What? Right, got your tongue. You really are crazy. Or you'll get you nowhere. But, failing, let's roll back the tapes and uh, start from the beginning. You and Batsy will need to start slugging it out like the good old days. But I don't want to fight anymore. Still need more motivation? Let me remind you again. We're in Gotham. One of our streets is named Crime Alley. I don't wonder what happens there. Do you have a point? Of course, of course. Think of it like this. Think of Bruce Wayne, millionaire, playboy. This drinking, gambling, eating away, enjoying his life. While we, even Patsy here, is a uh, toiling away. Do you think any of that wealth goes into helping the community? Well, there are charities. <laughs> charities are mean, means nothing. They're just a, a slick way to launder money. What? Are you kidding? <laughs> Do you really think our charity money is going to where it needs to? Truly, to be a difference, I would suggest that Bruce Wayne is wiser and, you know, put that money actually into the city, the community. A bunch of my hitchmen are people who need to pay their bills. Think of it! I, uh... Let's see, you have to agree with me. If Bruce Wayne would get off his ass, actually do something to help the city, or people, they won't. Because they like having the money that they've done for who knows what. Who knows? Some may even be on my payroll if I flashed enough Benjamins. See? Patsy here is speechless. You can hear those rich, pretentious, pompous. Where was I going with this? Cool. Rich folks would actually try to invest in the city instead of just sitting in their ivory towers, the pearly. It's porcelain thrones. Enjoying the finer things in life. If they would just come off their thrones and mingle with the common folk, try to make things better. Hell, even Thomas Wayne, he was a doctor. But here's baby Bruce, just eat, splurging on nonsense. If anything, I think that kid has issues. I mean, seriously, Gotham wasn't so dangerous as it was now. Who knows, Batsy? You wouldn't have to go around going, you know, casing orphanages. Trying to find the next boy wonder. Or 
Oh, what the? It's, I think it's it's been a while. What was that one his name? Ah, never mind it. Uh, what? You, you, you can't say you never. You never considered it what? Just to form into a Wayne Manor. Even just to scare Bruce. Try to convince him to put the community instead of just wasting away in his mansion. Really, he's making a mockery of his family's legacy. Imagine if he was a doctor with all that vast wealth. Who's he would probably find ways to make pesticides that won't harm the plants or insects? Imagine if Arkham actually was able to help. It's patience besides turning him into raving lunatics. No offense. You see, when it comes down to it, there's always going to be a reason to be bad. The only thing is, I don't enough. Maybe I am the mass. You see the truth? Though, yes, we can be considered products of our environment, you can't deny that everyone is up in our creation. The Riddler, Harley, you. Two face. I mean, granted, he was you know, already close to being a super villain. I mean, he was a lawyer. Hmm. Maybe he just had a quicker head start compared to the others. Either way, what I'm really trying to say is you. Was supposed to entertain me, and you failed. Though, yes, you have still tried your best. It is not enough. You have to try harder. I mean, this was a whole snooze fest. I could have. Who knows? How, how many hospitals could I have blown up by now? Hmm. Just waiting for you. To, to get to the good part. I... I... <clears throat> don't worry about it. I forgive you, Vic. All you have to do... is play your role as a super bad bat. And guys... <laughs> and you, my dear wicked fellow, you... Play your role as a Dave Crusader who beats the living crap out of us, trying to convince us we could change, knowing we can't. Ready? Good. Now, then, action! Uh oh! Aren't you fighting? Maybe the motivation why, why aren't you? You know what? I figure this would happen. Performance issues, we need speed, high ball, red ball. I. Or how about you just blow up your wife? Wait, what? 
Oh, right. You see, just because she's in a coma doesn't mean she doesn't know what's happening here. What are you saying? Have you ever heard of that little legend or whatever it is that when you're in a coma, you can still hear and you're technically somewhat still conscious. Uh, no. Oh, yes, my dear frosty fellow. Chances are your dear beloved wife knows all you've done for her. Every body they had to bury because of you. She knows it was truly just so she would be revived. Who knows, maybe she actually wants death. You are about to pull the blood to begin with, weren't you? I... Joke. What are you doing? I'm giving you a gift. Since you were saying you're done anyway, you're about to finish off your wife. I suppose I could do it for you as a parting gift. One friend to another. Good job to this. Way sins. I'm pretty sure she'll be at the party gates soon enough. And besides, chances are, like you said, she probably wouldn't love you anymore anyway. You've grown soft all these years. How could she love you, who frozen has been? Despite your seemingly tough exterior, even if she did revive her, could she even give her everything she wanted? Just are you just i be able to rise to the occasion, though, boy. <laughs> Don't worry. Worst case scenario, she's in hell with you. Joker. Hmm? Oh, right, right. I. Forgive me, Batman. I forgot that you were here as well. What is it? You kind of screwed up. Wait, what are you... As then... Mr. Freeze does end up freezing the mid... The little region of Joker. Being beyond pissed at all his words, though you see he's making somewhat of a bit of a good sense. Joker is wondering, <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to be fighting Batman. You're supposed to be freezing his legs off, not mine. I believe you're right. Of course I'm right. Wait, what am I right about? We are, we are, can be considered possible in our environment. I know. Wait. Why why am I getting a bad feeling about this? I think I should do some uh, to world a great service by getting rid of you. What? <laughs> you can't do that. Batman? Sorry, Joker. What? 
What? You don't kill, remember? You just beat the crap out of us. What are you? You're you? Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even here. No, no, no. Bad. Fancy. You need me. You wouldn't. You wouldn't allow your great pal Joker to bite the fist, would you? Like. That's how I'm going to go out. May I have one final request? What is it? The seal hall in hell. My my helmet? My Oh my Wait. The temperature in this room is perfect. Ow, wait, am I in Arkham again? No, no, no. This isn't Arkham, this is a hospital. Unless I need to get oh I'm oh, exploding why does it feel like I was torn to pieces um hey. hello um excuse me ma'am I would like to Express my thanks. Oh no, don't thank me. Thank the young man that actually brought you here. What? Yeah, there was this boy who saw that you were heavily injured somehow and decided to lend a hand. We're a good Samaritan. Someone saved me? Yes. I, uh, well, uh, uh, express my thanks to the young man, and I'll be on my way. Oh, no, you can thank him yourself. Wait, what? You can come in. Uh, as this, this is a 14-year-old Izuku. Instead of going up under the overpass of, and encountering the sludge villain, he actually did notice when dear old Richter pretty much collapsed in an alley. Against his better judgment and his, you know, his heroic aspects, he goes in to see what's going on. Seeing no assailants, but seeing that someone was possibly in critical condition, he thought it would be best just to eh, take him to the hospital. Though, yes, Inko has been informed of what he's done, she is still worried the fact that he did end up helping a complete stranger, not knowing whether it could have been a villain or a hero. And even though Izuku is obviously cold, having to literally wear layers over layers, he is more than happy to see that Richter's okay. Why did you save me? You were hurt. 
but the, wait, you, do you not know who I am? No? Uh, well, my name is Victor Fries. No, Mr. Freeze. Uh, well, I can't also go by doctor. I just prefer to. <laughs> okay. I don't know who that is. Uh, but I. Wait. He doesn't know who I am. That's. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, um, anything, uh, thank you for your assistance. Uh, you are uh, my hero. Izuku, feeling all the kinds of euphoria and happiness for someone thanking him and, of course, calling him a hero. This actually instills a hand that maybe he can still be one, just not as popular. But before then, Izuku does say that. Yeah, you have a cool quirk. Victor is always a way. What's a quirk? Both Izuku and the nurse are shocked to see that no one knows what, well, at least he doesn't know what Quirk is, so they give him a brief explanation. Him realizing, I'm not in Gotham anymore, am I? What's Gotham? <gasps> I, 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 I am speechless. Wait, so, the majority of the population has superpowers. Yes. You're kidding. No. Nope. And this whole hearing heroes uh, and villains and <laughs> yep. And he gets a brief history on how powerful quirks can be, how dangerous they potentially can be. So he's like, oh my god. Thank goodness, no. I'm the only one here. If that clown got here, he would get stupid. If he ran into the wrong hero. Or upset the wrong villain. He's a girl. He doesn't leave. But Victor, like, wait. I would like to thank you somehow. Suku, being as humble and modest as ever, instantly declines, saying, "Yeah, you know, he doesn't need anything. To he doesn't need to be rewarded just for doing something nice, just for doing the right thing. He doesn't want that." Victor, looking at this, uh, you are too nice. It only makes sense that you would want something. <laughs> Not unless you can give me a quirk. Huh? Wait, give you a quirk? I don't follow. Oh, so you must be a quirkless boy, huh? Yes. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he doesn't have superpowers. That's his... He's one of the few humans around that don't have superpowers. So, what? So, wait, you're saying... Yeah. Well, isn't that a bit of a surprise? Hmm. Hey, oh, well. I'm not sure if I can give you a quirk, but I would still like to thank you. But wait, wait, I... Oh, I just remember. What is it? Oh, it's nothing. 
As it finally dawns on him, since this is not Gotham, since he has no credentials that passed over, he's pretty much starting from square one, completely not used to the environment that he's now found himself in. Izuku still wanting to help out, of course, is like, I can show you around. Boy, you are a saint. Um, but what of your parents? My dad's overseas, my mom was here, but she got cold. What? Uh, oh, right, um, see, when you were first brought here, you were freezing cold. At first they tried to warm you up, but then I noticed them yelling that your vowel signs were dropping, so I gave them, uh, you told them to turn down the heat to keep my temperature lower? Y y yes. Okay, I got to repay you somehow. What? Oh, yeah. I cannot survive in any really warm environment. I I need it to be cold, or else I could die. And then you, you saved me twice! Really? Uh, it was just an educated guess. Well, you are quite educated. Never thought I would be dead to a young man. Hmm. Well, apparently, I will do what I can to repay you. But I just said I didn't. You said you wanted a quirk. I just so happen to have a certain level of expertise when it comes to genetic modification. What? Ugh. Where I'm from, there's a whole heap of unique, albeit versatile, individuals, <laughs> but <clears throat> at the very least, I shall do whatever I can to help you. Uh, you, you don't have to go out of your way for that. No, I insist. It is the least I can do for my savior. You don't have to call me that. What else can I call you? you Sugu Midoriya. That's my name. You can just call me that. As you is walking away, there's... Is... Yeah. Shame for that kid. What do you mean? Well, with him... <sighs> being quirkless, most kids his age would aspire to be heroes. Really? Yeah. And back to... It seems as though he's probably been bullied. His uniform, it seems like it was burned a little bit. You don't say. Yeah, but it happens. At least it does when it comes to weaker individuals. Hmm. If anything, I think you calling him a hero was one of the best things that ever. You don't say. Yeah. It's a shame, really, but you can't really change who you are. You can't really. I know you're just trying to be 
nice or anything, but he, uh, he don't get his hopes up. Like giving him a quirk. Yeah, there's there's no way of that actually happening. I'm not so sure. If anything, see, um, where might I find my suit? Oh, it's in the closet. Hmm. Very well. And with that, I will be out of here here. As soon as Victor does end up going outside of the hospital, he's seeing the wide range of people. People who are tall as hell, short as hell, even those who have protruding spikes all over their body. This is where he sets in the, yeah, I am not in Gotham. I'm not even on my earth. This is quite fascinating. Well, first things first, I must get more accustomed to my new surroundings. Where it takes him at least Mm, it's like five months before it, he sees Izuku again. And by this time, he has been relatively established. Thanks to his technology as well as his know how, he has opened up a wide range of, you could say, refer. Refrigerating electronics, as well as other technology, things that could be used to subdue villains. In fact, he has a cold gun that he patented and gave it to the military as well as other police forces. Especially for those law enforcement without work. So he is pretty well known by this time. And as soon as he sees Izuku again, he's all happy smiles and everything. But, um, hi. Uh, I've seen you've adjusted. Yes. You saved my life twice. And now I wish to give back to you. What? Oh, yes. I didn't forget what you've done for me. <laughs> I told you it was fine. No. No, I refuse to let it be like that. No. You young man. You are my hero, and it only makes sense me to want to repay you. In fact, you can ask your mother or take her with us. It all depends on... I'll ask, Mom, can you think I can... As soon as she sees Victor, she drops pretty much everything. She's amazed to actually see someone with such prestige but also, like, what are you doing here? This is what Izuku does remind her, like, remember that guy I saved? No. Yes. You're serious. This is the gentleman that you... Yes. Huh. Well done. I, I, yeah. Uh, she faints. Victor's wondering, oh, uh, is she okay? Izuku, uh, believe me, this happens. This happens. So, um, what's that you wanted to, you were saying? 
I am able to repay you for what you've done for me. Uh, what? Oh, oh yes. How would you like to be a hero, hero? I, I'm sorry, but that's, uh, well, I mean, I could be better uh, as a, you know, support. Oh, no. No, not, not no support hero. You are going to be a headline. What? Oh, yes. I have faith in you. I believe you can be one of the greatest heroes. Izuku is, of course, shocked. Well, uh, I have been training. If you're looking, you see that, yeah, Izuku has gotten pretty built compared to that skinny stream being he used to be. But he is, uh, yes. But to keep up with all the others, you're going to need a little something extra. What? Oh, yes. You are going to need superpowers. Uh, that, that, that's, 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 that's ridiculous. Uh, besides, I already decided to focus on uh, quirk gear or, you know, support items. Oh, oh trust me. Yeah, just, just follow me. Uh, I would say break your mother up, so... Uh, oh, don't worry. We have smelling sauce still, just for this occasion. You see, we're just taking it out a box. Uh, oh, here we go again. Go wakes up. Izuku is informing her what's going to happen. Her worried, but also... I'm going to trust you for now. But if anything happens to my son, your ass is grass and I'm the lawnmower. Uh, beware of an angry, angry woman. Especially if she's a mom. Well, a caring mom. This is when he's a goo. Who does it? Get a little suspicious wondering, okay, so where are you taking me, really? Victor, you see, ever since I met you, I have been doing research in, you know, quark genome, as well as what could cause quarks to appear. I think I found something. What? Oh, yes. You see, though it would make sense for a good amount of the population to have quarks and some not. It's a little suspicious that you don't have one. What do you mean? Around when we first met, you tell me you're quarkless, but you're in your mom. Where, you know, just home alone, your dad's overseas and whatnot. Yeah, and how your dad and your mom had quirk, but the only thing is, you didn't. Yeah. Well, that got me thinking, what if you do have a quirk? Or at least you have the quirk gene that you haven't awakened yet. What? You heard me. There's a chance that you are one of these new age humans. Only thing is, you haven't been through the right stimulus. Like, what are you talking about? Think of it like this. 
Why do people drink coffee? It gets them up, it gets them more active for you to tackle the day. The thing about adrenaline, the fight or flight response. That's how back then you would hear stories about obese people participating in winning marathons or mothers lifting a car to save their child. You just probably haven't found the right stimulant or haven't experienced anything to warrant a quirk awakening. Chances are you are a light bloomer. Huh. So I'm a late bloomer? Possibly. Yes. At least that's what my hypothesis is. It's not a com it's not a cut and dry, but it's still something. <laughs> you know, before I met you, I I really wanted to be a hero, but I started to have my doubts. If I could be one. And I I know. The nurse after you left did tell me about how kids your age would dream about being heroes and how I call you my hero. My of a really made your day. It really did. And what are are you being bullied? What? Yeah. Nurse brought something up about that. She's she was relatively Hush, hush about it until I probed a little bit. Uh, oh, don't worry, you can tell me. Well, it, it's not really bullying, it's just my friends. I, uh, what, are these? what? If they're doing that to you, they are not your friends. It, trust me, they, they are not your friends. They're just using you to, uh, I can't say get revenge or anything, because you sure enough didn't do anything wrong from what I could tell. If anything, like, well, well no, uh, but they are my friends. Uh, we've known each other since kindergarten. <laughs> so, mm, mm. Well, anyway, your questionable friendships aside, we're going to try to find out how to awaken a quirk, or at least grant you the ability that would, you know, replicate a quirk. Is it going to hurt? Oh my god, truth will want me to lie to you. The truth, please. Brave boy. Just, oh yes, it's going to hurt. First things first. Get into this tank. I'm going to check your vitals. I'm going to administer several stimulants to see how your body reacts. What? Oh, don't worry. Worst case scenario, you will suffer some discomfort. And it takes at least two months of this. So you can go through treatment after treatment, saying it what sticks, what as the Winko is concerned, seeing the happiness or at least the hope in Izuku's eyes can make sure so she doesn't pull the plug on this. And at the end of that two months, Izuku is starting to notice he's changing. He notices his hair's turned blue. 
he knows his hell. Before he would have to wear heavy coats around Victor, but now he's huh, this is actually pretty comfortable. It's only until Izuku sneezes and ice shards exit <laughs> just nearly piercing Victor. So, I have superpowers. You have superpowers. It worked. Oh, after all this time of doing the research, it worked. 